Okay, so today we're going to do another round of Meet the Posse. And today we are talking with Canadian artist Paul Ainsworth. Canadian, yeah. Yeah, a little Canadian love today. <laughs> yeah. uh, the land of maple syrup, bacon, and strange brew. And poutine, that's right. Yes, yes. Speaking of which, what's a good snack up there? I just got a box of snacks from another post posse guy in Australia, Calvin, and what's yeah. good up in Canada? There is like a lot of like chocolate bars and chips and stuff like that that are not found down there. I think like crispy crunch you can't get down there. Okay. Uh, there's uh, well, Big Turk. It's like <laughs> Big Turk. It's, terrible, it's like it's like Turkish delight. It's one of those like juju with chocolate on it. Interesting. Uh, okay. I personally love that, but a lot of Canadians hate it. Um, and then there's like Smarties. You guys don't have. Smarties. Oh yeah, we have Smarties. Or oh, wait, wait. M and M Smarties Skittles. Oh, I thought Smarties was Canadian. Anyways, we, we have, have M and M's too. Yeah, there you go. Oh, and of course, my favorite, Junior Mints. Yeah, yeah, they're very delicious. They're, they're quite, they're quite wonderful. <laughs> so why don't we start? Why don't you just tell us a bit, a little bit about um, where you went to school, your education, um, and kind of, you know, maybe what your first gig was coming out of school and. How your career path uh, is going? My first gig was actually during school. I was in, uh, I went to Ontario College of Art and Design. It's now Ontario College of Art and Design University. Okay. So uh, you could get your bachelor's of design and art and all that kind of stuff now. Um, uh, I, I kind of missed that step when <laughs> did the turnover. So uh, I came out with like a diploma or an associate's diploma in illustration and communication. So. Um, but yeah, and I think it was in my third year, I start. I think I did, I did a job for an animation company that was a, it was a gaming company, like it was back when there was like the last ditch effort to have an arcade out mm -hmm. there, yeah. and they did this animation thing on, on, the, on these little televisions when you sat down to eat, and I just designed all these characters for that, and uh, they would animate it, and then, then this big gala opening up this place, and um, got invited to it and it was just interesting because they made live performers dressed as my character so it was really neat to see I was like I went up to one and said hey I drew you and she's like I'm trying to remember my lines you mind so I was like <laughs> okay I'm just going to have a drink over there now. so it was, uh, it was fun just like that first kind of experience when I was in third year um, so uh, I kind of started from there and then right out of the gates after I graduated, I put out some um, some mailers to a bunch of different companies. One ended up getting to Thrasher Magazine and then an art director there kind of gave it to a guy at Quicksilver and the guy at Quicksilver called me up and he's like, hey, I'm working on Tony Hawk's um, clothing company. I was wondering if you might want to do some graphics for us. I was like, yeah, sure. And he's like, you can do vector, right? I'm like, uh, what are, what are vectors? <laughs> That's not the, you're always supposed to go, sure. And then you go, yeah, well, okay. I said, sure right away, right? And then I, I sent him a JPEG and he's like, what is this? <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> right. Can you just maybe tell me what a vector is? So I found out one of my good friends at the time, like he, he, he was a kind of a genius with vector and he brought me to Kinko's and uh, we put in about three hours of, of time there. And, you know, I paid for it obviously. And uh, and he showed me on, I, I think it was already Illustrator 9 at the time. Yeah. Do some vectors. So I just like, I, and now it's, that's, that's my go-to. So yeah. I've been at it since. And you know, the, the little gig was, it ended up being like a t-shirt design uh, for the, the t-shirt company and then ended up on uh, Tony Hawk's video game. Very cool. Uh, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 4. And I, I just heard through the grapevine something like from the art director that he picked it out out of the, uh, off a table kind of thing and said, like, I want that on me in the game. I was just it's like, whoa, this is this is huge. Yeah. And the pay was, my, my parents were like, how much did you get paid for this? I was like, wow, it doesn't matter. It's just it's cool. Like, it's the cool factor. Yeah. So that was my claim to fame and at the time. And it was just, yeah. Really cool experience, and I was like, I, I think I'm going to like this this industry. So. so, when you go to school, though, and you probably in your mind have this set like 
path, like this is how it's going to work. I'm going to come out of school. I'm going to do this. How has that differed from what you thought it was going to be to what it is? <laughs> Man, there's nothing at all. Nothing at all like it was going to be. I remember in first year, I was asking a teacher, I said, hey, can I do CD artwork when I get out of here? And they're like, yeah, of course. And like, I thought that was like a career for some reason. But like album art is, you know, you can make a career out of that. Absolutely. It's great stuff with it. And there's, there's amazing art coming out right now of that. Um, at the time, like, I was just like, I just want to do stuff for punk bands. I'm like, well, punk bands probably won't have but they'll just actually keep me alive. So, um, but then, uh, I found out like through friends, I found out that there were studios used to, like my teachers all had these design and art studios where they would like all collaborate on projects where they had their own thing, but it was all under one roof, like one little office. And I was just like, that's the dream. That's the dream. And then. We got out of, out of school and everybody just went their separate way. It's yeah. Just, you know, nobody, we, we couldn't find like clients to keep us, keep us going that hard kind of right away. Right. So yeah, sure. but it took me a while actually to just get into design and art altogether. I, I worked in retail for about four years, mm -hmm. before, four or five years before actually jumping in. So, um, it was not like an easy transition. <laughs> so no. So you went from thinking I'm going to design CD covers to working retail. Yeah. And then, and then the poster, now how did you get into the whole alternative movie poster scene? Uh, that was probably a good, let's see, four, seven years after that. Wow. <laughs> so That's a long was, time. Yeah. Like I was, I was always like, even in school, like I wanted to do gig posters. Like I, I had like an old, I could probably send it to you. It's an old uh, image of, or an old like um, gig poster for the hives uh, uh -huh. back in the day. Um, that was just like one of those things. Like I was a kid, and I just wanted to do something to do something, and I never submitted it or anything like that. But um, yeah, I wanted to do. I loved like I was in Toronto, and, and downtown was a huge you know live live music kind of. You could just open a paper, and you're like, okay, I got a gig to go to. Check it out this weekend, yeah. kind of thing. Right? So there were posters everywhere on every like. Uh, lamp post and so um, tons of inspiration I'm sure, sure. But, um, yeah I never got really into it until like I was really bored at this one graphic job that I was working at right I was photoshopping cold sores on, on, on mouths for a pharmaceutical advertising agency so you're just like oh man I'm just gonna google you know illustration and then I started finding all these poster art and like guys like Gary Pullen and, and, and you know stuff like that. It's just like, oh my god, you know, I just want to do stuff like this. Like, and then I started doing my own, uh, just at home. And uh, you know, I approached some um, art galleries like uh, Hero Complex and Bottleneck, and I was just like, hey, do you, do you guys need more artists? And he's like, well, do you do this kind of stuff? And so it just it just blew yeah. up from there for me. But. Uh, before that, it was just kind of, I was always into comics, I was always drawing, uh, like, again, like, I love geek posters, like, looking those up and stuff like that. But, yeah. Uh, Savage yeah. Dragon. What's that? Yeah. Savage Dragon. Yeah. All the, the whole image, all that stuff, like, ask, you know, some of the other post Posse members, like, I'm just a big, huge fan of the, the comic book uh, era. Yeah. The nights. And that was kind of, like... That was my way of actually reading books. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was. You know, I mean, it was. It was. Um, it's great pop culture stuff, but it's also, you know, when it's done right, it's so good. Yeah, yeah it is so sure. good, visually and story wise. You know. Yeah, and it's it's coming back now. I think maybe not so much in print because they are like doing like hardcover books or like you know large series. They're not doing like like they're not selling millions of one issue kind sure. of thing like they did back in the nineties, yeah. but. Um, I, I think it's it's coming back big, but you, maybe not as big. <laughs> sure, sure. And, you know, times have changed too. There's different ways to get that story mm -hmm. out and get that art out. So um, it's it's evolving for sure, and it's you know yeah. we'll see what happens with it. Um, mm -hmm. You mentioned Gary Pullen, and he's an amazing artist. Are there any other artists right now that? you kind of follow and kind of covet their work or find inspiration in what they do? Yeah, um, like, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of close friends with, like, Matt. Not kind of friends, like, close friends. I'm 
I'm close friends with some of these guys, and I actually follow them, and yeah. I try to keep up with their work and and stay updated with it. Um, like Matt Tobin, you know, he's a great artist. Justin Erickson, uh, and, uh, I know they're all Canadians, and I'm not like particularly just Canadian. biased. <laughs> totally biased, eh? But, uh, but yeah, like just um, I don't know. I, I just I, a lot of guys out there, a lot of women that are doing some amazing work. I just whatever whatever's cool, I'll follow it. And like I'll, I'll I'll follow them on Instagram, and I'll just like you know oh that's amazing. And I, I keep I keep trying to uh, create some sort of dialogue with a lot of these people too. And I find that if there's anything uh, you know like any kind of people being stuck up and don't want to like share their ideas or anything, sure. I'm like well what's the point? This is you know this is a community of artists, and you know I think it's really a great thing to share with everybody. Right? So like why hold back on you know. I agree. I, you know, I love when the artists engage with the people that are following it. Like Gary's great. You know, he always says <laughs> something to people. Jason Edmiston is really good. Yeah. Um, there, and you know, Chris Garofalo. I mean, there's guys that just always will have something to say, even if it's just a short, "Hey, thank you." You know. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And uh, I, I've always been into this more for the networking and for the community. Like I, I miss school. I miss the whole. Here's. Everybody, let's let's all put our work up on the on the board, and then let's go through it and let's talk about it. And I just love that where you see like people, and this is what I think Poster Posse just kind of like scratches that itch is that like you have guys that are or folks that are just like not talking to each other for a week, knowing that we're all working on something, and like we're like kind of like hey, here's a little bit of what I'm working on, like oh that's awesome, and then. You know the final here it is let's put it up and it's just this excitement I'm like oh my god this is what you've been working on this is amazing yeah that's one of the favorite thing my favorite things yeah. is when everybody finally gets to see you know because the work always comes into me and i'm like oh my gosh this is going to melt people's minds yeah. and the next one oh my gosh this one's going to break the internet or whatever it is you know like right. i love this and then when you guys get to all the artists get to see everything it's great getting the feedback from everybody like holy crap orlando's piece is amazing or whatever you know what i mean yeah and orlando like he's He's one of the huge dudes that is super into the conversation. He loves just putting it out there and is like, let's all talk about it. And it's so like, it's 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 making our industry that much more enjoyable. So yeah, um, yeah, absolutely. Um, what so to date, you've been in you've been in the group for a long time now. What has been your favorite poster posse project? Uh, I think well, there's like there's a, there's two that I love because they were like comic book related. Like I did like the Age of Ultron one was was a lot of fun because just of like it, I made it look like a cover of a comic book. And yeah. I always wanted to officially make one, but um, you know just playing around with that was that whole idea it was a lot of fun. As well as the Batman one, like it looked, felt like a, a two page spread that. Um, and I kind of used two different styles when I when I did that, mm -hmm. kind of loose on the illustration style. Um, but the Kong one that we did just recently, that was probably the most exciting, just because of the whole everything around it, from uh, you know uh, the marketing standpoint to just people coming up and like, you did this, right? Yeah, 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 I was part of that, right? Oh my god, that was amazing! Did you did you get invited to the premiere? Like, well, you know, I'm here up in Canada, I'm <laughs> fly me down, but, you know. I'll, I'll go see the movie, but and um, but yeah, just the whole that whole experience was a lot of fun. Kong was fun, you know. It was it was nice uh, to be and included at had, like sorry, legendary have amazing people working there that really helped the process too. So like I give it up to like there's I I work with a lot of suits and and a lot of corporations that yeah. would give you very little uh, to to work on, and they were very very welcoming. So. No, Legendary definitely understands, and you know, Warner was good, it was fun being part of the bottleneck gallery exhibit that they did before the show, yeah. uh, before the premiere, so, yeah, that was really good, that was, uh, mm -hmm. what Definitely. about, now, I know you've, I will ask this, but, and I kind of already know the answer, I believe, but, do you have any, um, of your own personal passion projects that you work on on the side? Yeah, like, uh, like this, <laughs> Napoleon Complex series that <laughs> I'm really working on that uh, it's not really work like it's just it's just fun uh, I, I came it came up out of like a doodle that I did and I was just like I think I could use this in a lot of different scenarios like whether it's you know pop culture movies or you know comic book characters or whatever yep and um, you know they're not they're not super 
easy. I can't like just dish one out like in an hour. Sure. I, in my mind, I can, but I end up like you know, <laughs> I'm like, oh, geez, it's three a.m. I better <laughs> better finish this up now. So, exactly. Uh, but yeah, they're a lot of fun to to work on, and um, I'd, I'd love to have something happen with it and if nothing happens with it like I just I will continue doing them just because they're a lot of fun well it's good you get the personal you know you get the personal satisfaction out of it so yeah. it kind of and it shows in the work you know you can tell that you know each time one of those gets released it's always I mean it's just spot on it looks great um, and it's and it's so consistent within the whole series which is fantastic you know yeah. I think I think uh, in the if there is an end, I want to try to have like a video where it's just like skipping through them all kind of thing. And I, I know they won't be like dead on, but like I, I feel like I've done it a few times where, you know, I've taken uh, the multitude of ones that I have and, and just did like a video of all of them. And it's kind of neat just to see them repeating along with the same feature kind of thing. And How many are you up to now? You've done quite a few, so. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sure. It's like if I had a poster, ah, oh, darn it. It's, I ballpark it around 60 or so. Like, wow. It's, not, it's, it's really not that much when you compare it to like, some of these other folks that are doing like similar projects, but um, it's just time, right? Like, you just need, I just need time to keep doing them. I know. If I have time to do it, and I can throw it in between little projects here and there, or, you know, I can't really, you know, honey, I'm not going to take the, the girls to the soccer practice. I'm going to do this, right? So yeah. there's... Life, life happens. <laughs> well, that's what you said, though. Like, you, you'll some night you'll catch yourself up at three in the morning working on them, and like, oh, it's three in the morning. I should probably <laughs> call the rap, eh? Yeah, I gotta be awake for when the kids wake up. Yeah, which is okay. always just a few hours away. <laughs> yeah. So, so um, what would you say? Is on your list bucket list of things to do that you haven't done yet what's like a dream project or a dream client to work with that you'd love to embark upon uh, client wise I'm, I've, I've done some pretty big I've worked on whether it's my design uh, work or my illustration work I've done some pretty big clients from like Dodge to uh, uh, up here up here it's like basically Home Depot version in Canada called mm -hmm. Canadian Tire like that. Yep work with them on many occasions um, and uh, like it's it, the client themselves like I I, I I like working with big big clients and sure they might have like some some important um, jobs come down that you could see throughout you know the nation kind of thing but um, just little things like I, I'd love to do a poster for I'm a hockey guy I'd love to do like a, a slap shot poster right yeah I have friends of mine that will be like, dude, that will, that will sell everywhere. I know a ton of guys out. I'm like, well, it's not just that. Like, I just want to do it. I want to do a great job at it. That that would be kind of like the back project that I want to really put in. Yeah. It kind of represents my whole life kind of thing, right? So it's got the the art and design side, and it's got my, you know, growing up playing hockey and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, um, and it just represents me in a, in a yeah. funny way kind of thing, right? I'd love to. I'd love to match those two. Like you know, you don't have your poster collector people, and then there's this you know the people that have no idea about posters at all. Yeah. Uh, or just like, oh, this looks amazing. You know, I'd love. I'd love to put this in my man cave kind of thing, right? And then, Absolutely. Yeah. So, so you, when you be a dream job, so when you work with these bigger clients, um, are you one of those guys that prefers a ton of direction? Or for instance, like I just saw someone did a Ghost in the Shell project and I was reading their the, the article about it and they said they told me not to use anything from the film to totally just wing it. Are you would you do you like that freedom? Yeah, I don't I don't like winging it because winging it means everything's like I'll wing it on something that's completely mine. Right. So kind of like these Napoleon complex guys like well, it's not completely mine, but like I'm just like, okay, this is my drawing. I started it and I've gone forward with it. But if I'm working for someone, if they don't have like an idea of even like, like in the advertising, when you're trying to pitch for a client or something like that, they're always saying like, okay, here's what's out there and here's what's amazing. Beat this. That's it. They just say beat this. Okay. So um, like even if it's that, 
I'm very visual, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm losing my imagination a little bit with, with H. With a H, yeah. So, yeah, so I can't, I can't really visualize anything without knowing, like, even a hint of how you might think this look. Yeah. Looks like in the in the end. So I, I love direction, uh, and yeah. Now you're. I know you're a family guy. Are your kids into art? Yeah. Um, do they appreciate what you do? <laughs> yeah, like she, like I got this one later here. She was, was a quick little thing. I think it was, um, I don't know if you can see it. There you go, right there. Yeah, there's Daddy and Fiona right there. So <laughs> I was like, yeah, I got to frame that. Uh, but, <laughs> you know, they, they just, they love seeing me draw, but like I'd rather sit down with them and draw. Yeah. Um, they love having me around and, and drawing with them and stuff. Um, the two of them, one will be very violent and just like go nuts, <laughs> whereas the other one's like she just likes to draw some really nice hearts, and stuff like Aww. that. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah, my son is uh, every time there's a poster posse project, he'll he'll come by the computer and uh, as the art's coming in, he's oh oh dad dad dad, that is definitely going in my room. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I have a friend. I have a friend of mine. Uh, Friend that's older than I am that will be like that. He's like, hey, hey, what, when, when's that film coming out? I'll, I'll come and get that one. I'll like, say, well, I'm not printing that one. He's like, well, how do I get that? I'm like, well, I'll talk to somebody about it. Like, yeah, let me let me figure this out and see if we can hook yeah. you up here. Yeah, yeah. So, um, no, I totally, I totally see the excitement and the visuals and stuff like that. So, and that's fun, you know. I, I love that he gets that excited about it, you know. And and then the next one comes in, and he wants that one for his room. So yeah. Yeah. Well, I, you can't really see here, but like I, my, my whole office is pretty much filled up with with a lot of stuff. And I, I try to surround myself. Well, it's like this because my wife won't let me do it anywhere else. <laughs> so I try to keep uh, keep the inspiration within the room kind of thing, right? But, do you uh, swap it out or do you keep it at those? Like those are the posters that stay up or do you swap them uh, out to we, get... We, we haven't been we been, haven't been here for that long to swap out yet, but okay. uh, we just moved in uh, just at the end of last summer. So uh, I think soon. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm expecting a pretty big uh, He-Man Masters of the Universe print. I might uh, swap out somewhere, but uh, I always make sure that uh, my wife and stuff knows what I'm buying and yes, <laughs> what's yes. appropriate. You know, there's there's some some amazing horror posters out there that I've I've, I've wanted and wanted yeah. to purchase, and it's like, yeah, you can't have that. Here. Yeah. Wait till, wait till the kids are old. We're not doing that now. Okay, so right. um, I also know that you worked on a project with Kevin Burke for twenty. You did something for twenty four by thirty six. Can you talk about that? Yeah, um, it's it's out now. Um, I, I don't know if it's universally out, but it's out t to a lot of people. Okay. It's uh, accessible through iTunes. Um, Kevin uh, approached me just to help him out with, like, even with the poster and for the Kickstarter, just to get things a little like moving. And through that, like, I, I met Matt, uh, Matt Tobin, through a show in Bottleneck, and uh, you know, I brought his name up, like. Hey, maybe he could get involved. We're like, yeah, of course. And uh, he already he already did a big interview with uh, um, Gary Pullen, so uh, that's what's uh, was the catalyst for the whole film. And just the process and uh, like seeing it come to life was just amazing. And the uh, the amount of uh, network that I created just from it was was really really impressive too so and Kevin and I we were just out for beers just two nights ago so uh, you know we're, we're still everybody's all uh, tightly knit now and, um, it was really exciting just the whole thing let me guess you guys so let's see you're, so Molson probably you're in Canada <laughs> I don't know no 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 we're not low and brow some hockey beers that we have oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy how tight this community is though because like you said I mean it's such a large fan base but like all the artists know each other and the fans connect in and you know then you get Kevin's connection it's really quite um, gratifying it's all, it feels more like a yeah. family you know yeah for sure and the, the other thing too is that um, 
it's it's kind of like that relationship you have like with like a boss, right? So like if you have like an issue with your boss and you don't talk it talk to him and you keep that issue like boiling up, um, and you don't and you finally end up talking like, listen, I have a problem with this project, and then they're like, oh, you know, let's do this, right? Oh, okay, You're pretty cool about this. I think like the artist group, like we all have like this internal. Uh, like this tension going on and then when you talk to people all of a sudden it's just like oh okay everybody's like really cool about this kind of stuff and you know a lot of artists love hearing that like i was actually really cool he's, he's really approachable and he's yeah. very talkative and appreciative and so like i think yeah this whole community is is really um there's a really good base for all of us. Yeah, you know, it's it's. I love going to the cons too because I feel that the yeah. artists love that one-on-one -on -one time with the fans. Yeah. And usually, you know, I know down in San Diego Comic Con, like the last two that I went to, or the last one I went to, Ali Moss was at a bar with everybody, and I mean, he right. stays there all night long, and he he find to answer any questions, hang yeah. out, and that, that's that's fun. Like we like I I I know nobody to talk to saying like you know oh I'm. I've been, at, I've been at my lowest before and I would never talk to those people but like there's some people out there that um, you know they just know that we've all been there and like we're here to support each other and you know everybody's willing to answer questions or just be cool and have a, have a, have a drink and Whatever. You know, it's. I guess it's probably because it's a passionate um, yeah. common ground for everybody. You know, people love films, they love pop culture, and they love the art. So, mm -hmm. you know, I think it's a good, um, a good perfect storm for everybody to get together and just kind of really get creative and explore that even further. And nobody, and we all want to kind of push the envelope too, right? So if that means that we get to talk to other people that have pushed the envelope, then. You know, we just want to, we want other Ali Mosses, right? That's yeah, absolutely. The, world needs. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, the more, the more everybody's talkative, the, the more new things will come up that uh, are really amazing to look at. And, you know, I guess, you know, it's, success is relative, you know? You know, Ali did that Harry Potter thing. That's huge. But for mm -hmm. another artist, getting to be at a show, a gallery show might be their level of success. You know, it's all different, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And uh, you know, I I've, I've had some you know uh, some good successful things go on uh, in the poster world, and you know I had my thing on Espresso Bean, uh, yep. Espresso Bean's uh, front page. And, you know, like those little just little little things that you accomplish and you, you take with you, and you're like, you know, I did that. That was that was a lot of fun, and um, and like having like you know Joe Dante sign sign a. a poster and sure and having it sell out like it's just little things like that like i'll take like, i don't take for granted at all so yeah um i hope i hope a lot of people just whatever they want to do they find that and they get to it and it's the journey it's the journey <laughs> yes the, the path yeah so. so what uh you know it's a huge it seems like amazing movies are coming out left and right i mean i'm looking at the wall here and I have my list of movies for 2018 it's just ridiculous what movies are you looking forward to this year is there anything that really got you kind of uh, I'm, I'm one of my favorite movies is Blade Runner and I'm very curious to see how Blade Runner looks and how it comes out um, they got yeah exactly like they've got some big shoes to fit but um you know, fans have wanted a Black Widow movie for a while, so I think, you know, with Wonder Woman coming out and just doing amazing, kind of like Daredevil did with the R rating, you know, like people like, yeah. oh, this is a viable platform that we can explore and people yeah. will respond to it. Yeah, I think it's just like you, you have to push that envelope, right? And um, as long as nobody's getting stepped on, uh, you know, it's, it's going to be amazing. So, um, I think uh, I'm just I'm not a huge fan in, in rebooting uh, yeah. movies. Yeah, one that I'm kind of bummed I just heard about the other day was Scarface. Yeah, I don't know. Really? There's, I, mean, I didn't know that they were actually. Gone. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. There's yeah. some no, I like. That, that's a classic that you can't. I don't know. Apocalypse but Now. I mean, don't like. Really mess with because it's it's just it's, it's been done so well. You know, like uh, I don't know. Maybe there's. It's just a bunch of guys, you know, my age, like folks my age that are just like, oh, you know what I love? I love that movie back when I was young. Right, I know. Let's like, redo it. Like, <laughs> let's just find that, that next one. Yeah, I know. 
Yeah, it's, I think it's just a way to get it out in front of today's audience too. You know, you put in new characters that this this generation can re respond to and kind of just reinvigorate it and just crank it back up again. I, know, like, I, I think they should just, you know, just put it out again, the same movie. You know? like, Why not? The same, yeah. You know, go through the whole premiere again, go through the whole, you know, like bring out the guns, right? Like, Why not? Why not? So what do you got on your slate for the rest of this year? Or is, or is it like with every artist? Well, I can't talk about it, but... No, no, I, <laughs> no, I, I think uh, things are open. Good. Uh, things are uh, looking... Uh, I, you know, I, did, I did a big project that, uh, for that Canadian Tire Company mm -hmm. uh, that is slated to come out soon. And um, there was... Well, so certain things like within advertising, it's just like, you know, I was part of the process yeah. and then say it was like for a television commercial and that will come out later on kind of thing. Sure, sure. Um, on the print side of things, I'm just trying to keep keep plugging away at, at certain passion projects and like whatever comes my way, I try to put as much time as it, in it as I can and um, uh, yeah. So basically, hockey fans everywhere right now are hoping, yes, Slapshot poster. Yeah, yes. Yeah, so I, I, I like this. I, I'd love to just get on it right now. But um, yeah, it's it's one of those things that are, when when it, everything is in the right position, I'm all guns blazing. So um, I think uh, uh, that's one of the ones that I, I really want to be careful with. Yeah. And, and, well, because it's sacred to you, you know? It's one of those things yeah. that you're like, hey, if I'm going to do it, I want to do it right. Yep. I want to do it a certain way that can, and it'll resonate in the work. It'll show. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So um, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, patient about it, and uh, I'm, I'm one of those those guys that something will come down the bike and I'll just be like, oh, okay, let's jump on that, right? So I've never had this path where it's just like, okay, I'm going A to B and that's it, right? So, yeah. Well, because it does vary, you know, one thing could lead to another, you know, it's one thing well, that I try. Even if you look at my portfolio, it's all over the place, like literally, there's like, I've worked on, you know, some logo stuff for Dodge, or I've, I've done a poster for this, or I've, uh, you know, worked on some sort of branding thing for a national wide company kind of thing, so, um, it's just, people come to me and they say, hey, can you do that? If I, if I can, if I have time, yeah, let's jump on it, I'll help you out, so. That's the way to do it. Yeah. I, I enjoy it, and um, it puts food in my kids' mouths. So, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Well, thank you so much for talking to us today. Um, we'll include some information, your contact information down below, and have a good one. Yeah, thanks so much, Tom. Absolutely, and, uh, Paul. Good luck with the other videos. Thank you very much. <laughs>